Hello, I'm Chase Langford. Welcome to our home I share with my husband, Steve Zeal. We are just off Mulholland Drive in the Santa Monica Mountains, which slices through Los Angeles. Join me on a tour of mid-century architecture and furniture, Hollywood history, paintings and sculptures, drought-tolerant gardens, breathtaking views, and a glimpse of local wildlife. In 1997, we were looking for a new home. We both wanted a great view. Steve wanted to be surrounded by nature, and I wanted an architectural home. After a long search, we got all three. When we first saw the house on that fateful day, the striking front facade with its wood screen and handsome block walls that flared up above the roof line immediately got our attention. In the early 60s, architect Frank Burton Wilson was commissioned by Herschel Daugherty to build him this modern home, the Herschel Daugherty House. Daugherty directed 77 TV shows, including Gunsmoke, Hawaii Five-0, and Star Trek. We were given a photo album with over 200 photos of the house under construction in the early 60s. We had the good fortune of having the architect visit us 40 years after he designed the house. He had vivid memories of how the house was meticulously designed and constructed right down to the carefully engineered foundations. He shared stories about Betty Davis and Daugherty having cocktails at the house while screening movies. The original wood screen defines the front entry, and along with the block walls, they protect the house from the hot afternoon sun. We re-landscaped the front with succulents and boulders with the goal of low water and easy maintenance. We're on a popular hiking trail. Many people and their dogs pass by every day. We have a faucet and a water bowl that has become the watering hole for hundreds of dogs in a neighborly social gathering place. The dogs stop by our front door for treats every day. Hey Riker. Come on in and I'll show you around. Here in the entry is a Bob Bennett brass sculpture we recently found in Palm Springs. So welcome to the heart of the home, our living room. After nine months and touring over 200 houses, we walked into this room and immediately knew we were home. In 1976, Daugherty sold this house to film producer Harry Giddes, who is best known for producing the film About Schmidt, starring Jack Nicholson. Giddes and Nicholson were good friends. Here's a picture of them in this room. We like to mix vintage furniture with new furniture. Steve found these original Danish modern Zelig Z chairs in Berkeley. This is a Lucite Eames chair. We like to call this the invisible chair. This is a Charles Taylor kinetic sculpture we discovered in Sag Harbor. This table has two levels that pivot. We love these Jonathan Adler 
African animal coasters. I created all the paintings you see here. The house has wonderful art walls. I held shows uh, for my art here for many years. We would move out most of the furniture, creating a gallery-like experience. The shows were a lot of fun, very rewarding, and I think everyone had a good time. Now let's go into the dining room, which has a wall of glass looking out to the pool and beyond. The frameless glass accentuates the indoor-outdoor seamless connection that was so important to mid-century architects. A bronze sculpture by California artist Peter Lodato. The table is a custom rosewood by mid-century LA. This sculpture here on the table is from a store called Rubbish in Silver Lake. Let's go out on the deck. Being out on this deck is exhilarating. It feels like we're floating high above Los Angeles. It's our favorite place to hang out with friends, we have a pleasant climate with afternoon ocean breezes cooling us down, even on the warmest summer days. Views take in the San Fernando Valley and a panorama of mountain ranges that are occasionally snow-capped in the winter. This outdoor furniture is by Knoll from the 1966 collection by Richard Schultz. Seven potted sago palms surround the pool. Across the pool is my art studio, which is featured in another video on my YouTube channel. The pool closet makes quite a statement with a vertical board door and surrounding block walls. We've had a lot of filming and uh, print shoots done at our house. Sienna Miller posed by this plumeria for Harper's Bazaar magazine. Volkswagen, Welch's grape juice, and others have shot here. Custom mix of blue and green Bazaza tile surrounds the pool. We selected the colors and specified the percent of each of them, and then they were randomly mounted on sheets. These are spider legs, which are posts connected to a beam extending from a structure, sort of a modern take on the flying buttress. Much of the house is clad in redwood, board, and batten siding. The architect told us the boards were sandblasted to enhance the wood grain. Capturing the best views, the largest windows face the northeast and north, keeping the house surprisingly cool year-round. Come with me to explore the hillside gardens. These hillside gardens down below the house, uh, this can go all summer without any water and do just fine and look great. Now we're going to go from the hillside garden to the south garden, so follow me.
Here we are at the South Garden. In 2002, we reconfigured and expanded the master suite. Steve had the great idea to extend this new wall above the roof line to mimic the original 1965 block walls. These cacti were propagated from cuttings from a friend's garden. This tile wall seamlessly continues inside into the master bedroom and bath. Below this stepping stone is our beloved Yolanda is buried. She was our joy and love for many years. We have a wildlife camera that we recently installed and already have captured some wonderful footage. Okay, let's go back into the house and see what else we can show you. Come on in. This white onyx sculpture by Leonardo Neerman we found in Palm Springs. An inset niche allows for a painting to hang behind the sliding doors. So let's continue through the house. So let's go into the kitchen. The kitchen is mostly original. We've had to update some of the appliances, but this is uh, the original kitchen that uh, was designed by the architect in the early 60s. We put in terrazzo floors in the kitchen, also in the entry, dining room, and bathrooms. This has been a love letter to our home. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of our house. If you'd like to see another tour here on my YouTube channel, you can see our Palm Springs house. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.